Welcome back to Dropedia Tutorials. Today I'm going to teach you how to draw King Crab from Fortnite. If you are new to this channel, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. I'm going to draw on my Wacom tablet, but you can follow my tutorials with any other media that you have, whether it's pencil color, Sharpie, or crayon. Now, first of all, I'm going to draw his sunglasses on the left with an oval shape right there. And on the left side, I'm going to draw another similar shape like that and I'm gonna trace the outline of that two circular shape and leave a gap in the middle point right there And in the middle, I'm going to draw across a curve line at this top point and the lower point. On the left side above, I'm going to draw a curve line upwards. And for his hair, I'm going to draw a string of curve line like that along the hairline. And at this corner, I'm going to extend it to the side with a curve line. And I'm going to draw a curve line downwards for the right side of his head right there. A diagonal line at the side of the sunglasses right here. Turn it downwards. And below that, I'm going to draw a curve line across. Turn it downwards. And at this lower point, I'm going to draw a square like that and going back to the hair I'm gonna draw on each point curve line across like that and on the right side I'm gonna turn it sideways and turn it down on the right side here and I'm gonna add some more curve line on the left side of the head above the sunglasses in the middle point I'm gonna draw across a curve line turn it up right there and sideways back to the left mirror the same shape on the right side as well and below the glasses I'm gonna draw a curve line downwards Diagonal turn to the right and turn it downwards. On the right side, I'm going to draw a semicircle line right there and a curve line at the side. On the left, I'm going to draw a curve line. For his mouth, I'm going to draw a curve line across below the nose right there. And for the lower part of the mouth, I'm going to draw an opposite direction curve line right there and extend it on the right side outwards. For the lower lips, I'm going to draw a similar line across right there. For the left side of his face, I'm going to take this point below the sunglasses and draw a curve line downwards. Turn it sideways to the right and diagonal line upwards to that point. For his goatee, I'm going to take this point at the side and draw a line in, turn it downwards with a diagonal curve line and turn it back up, sideways to the right, back down, diagonal line across, turn it up, sideways and back down. Now for the line of his neck, I'm going to take this point below the earrings with a curve line downwards. And for the left side of the neck, a curve line downwards at that point. For his necklace, I'm going to take this point at the side of the neck on the left and draw a semicircle line. Turn it to the right and semicircle turn at that corner. A curve line down at the side of that on both the left and right. 
and at this corner I'm gonna draw a triangular shape right there continue the outer line of the necklace and another triangular shape at this corner continue the line of the outer ring and another triangular shape at this corner right here continue the line of the ring all the way to the right side now from the right side of the necklace I'm gonna draw a curve line outwards and another curve line for the shoulder turn it downwards at the right side right there now for his hair at the back I'm gonna draw a curve line from the side of his ear here diagonally downwards and turn it outwards at the tip copy the same shape again at this lower point and a curve line across at this ending point behind that a line downwards and another one right here and another one and above the ear I'm gonna draw another piece of hair with a curve line outwards copy the same shape at this point and a curve line across at the ending point right there now I'm gonna add a line at the side of the ear here for the lower part of the sunglasses diagonal turn up and sideways now for his hand I'm gonna draw across a rectangular shape right here and above I'm gonna draw a curve line here Turn it sideways. I'm gonna copy the same shape again right there, and that will be the fingers. And at this point, a curve line up, sideways, and back down for the thumb. Below the rectangular shape on the left side, I'm gonna draw a line down, and another one right here. A diagonal line at this corner. And at this outer point, a diagonal line in, a curve line across from this point all the way to the right side, turn it downwards on both sides right there, and sideways at this corner, and a line downwards right there, and another line across at the upper point right there, turn it down at this outer corner and a curve line across at this corner below that I'm gonna draw a curve line from the left corner turn it to the right upwards and another similar curve line across at this corner below that in the middle point here I'm gonna draw a curve line across to the right and turn it upwards and sideways inside of that space i'm gonna draw an oval shape right there now below that i'm gonna draw another curve line from the left side right there turn it to the right again and end it at on the right side and below that i'm gonna draw the line of the hand with a curve line downwards semi circle turn to the left diagonal turn upwards for the inner line a curve line at that corner all the way up and from the side and from the side of the wrist here I'm gonna draw a curve line downwards now for his sling back I'm gonna take this point at the side of his necklace on the left and draw a curve line diagonally out downwards and turn it diagonally to the right side right there all the way to the side of the arm and coming back to the side of the necklace on the left I'm going to draw a curve line across to the left turn it downwards and slightly below that I'm going to draw across a curve line at that point turn it diagonally down and at that corner, I'm gonna draw a rectangular shape. Continue the line of the sling back downwards, and I'm gonna draw another rectangular shape at this corner. Above that, I'm gonna draw a line diagonally up, and curve line sideways 
to the right. At this lower point, I'm gonna draw a line downwards. Turn it to the right diagonally. Turn it upwards diagonally and a curve line across. A diagonal line upwards at that corner all the way to the inner line of the sling back. At this lower point I'm going to draw a diagonal curve line across and turn it diagonally up to that point. Below that I'm going to draw a similar line right there. At the side of the back I'm going to draw a curve line across at this point all the way to the side of his arm. Along the strap, I'm going to draw a line down at this corner and another one right here. Inside of that, I'm going to draw a rectangular shape. Now at the side of the zipper right here, I'm going to draw a curved line diagonally across and turn it downwards on the right side right there and a similar curved line across at this lower point. And inside the space below that zipper, I'm going to trace the outline in this inner point. And I'm going to draw another curve line above the zipper across in this middle point. And at the side, I'm going to turn it upwards. Diagonal turn upwards on the right side. Now for the left shoulder, I'm going to take this point and draw a curve line out. Same as you can turn downwards at the side. And at that corner, I'm going to draw a curve line across. Diagonal turn downwards and sideways to the left. That's the thumb. And for the fingers, a line across. Curve line downwards. Copy the same shape across at this lower point. For the other fingers, and at the side on the left, I'm going to draw a rectangular shape right there. And below that, on the left side here, I'm going to draw a curved line diagonally down. Turn it downwards with a semi turn and turn it sideways on the right side right there and diagonally upwards. A circular shape below that at this corner. And below that, I'm gonna draw his arms with a curve line diagonally down. Turn it to the right. Same as you could turn at that corner and a curve line all the way to the side of his sling back. Now below the sling back, I'm going to draw the left side of his tummy with a curve line downwards right there and on the right side from this point, a curve line slightly in and turn it downwards. A curve line across for the waist and on the right side I'm gonna draw a rectangular shape at that corner and inside of that I'm gonna draw a line across from the left side right there turn it downwards all the way down and going back to this point I'm gonna draw a line across a rectangular shape at this middle point right here and a line at the side Above that, I'm going to draw a line up on both sides and a line down on both sides below that. And at the side of that, I'm going to continue the upper line to the side right there. Turn it up, turn it sideways and downwards at the side. Diagonal line to the left and down and sideways. Diagonal line at this top point and sideways. At this point, I'm going to draw a line downwards at the side. Now for the buckle, I'm going to draw a rectangular shape in this middle point right there. A 
a line across at this lower point and another one at this upper point. At the side, I'm going to draw a diagonal line in at the top point and the lower point across a line downwards at that ending point and I'm going to copy the same shape on the left side as well. From the side of the buckle, I'm going to draw a line to the right and another line at this lower point. A line downwards at the side here and another one next to it. I'm going to draw I'm going to do the same thing on the left side here as well. And on top of that on the left side, I'm going to draw a curve line. Below the belt on the left, I'm going to draw the line of the shorts downwards. Diagonal turn outwards towards the knee point. Sideways to the right, turn it back up and diagonal turn downwards. Curve line across to the inner line of the shorts and turn it back upwards at the middle point. From the middle point of the pants, I'm going to draw a curve diagonal line at this corner turn it slightly straighter downwards to the right across the curve line at that corner turn it up at the side sharp turn back down and across turn it back up at that corner all the way to the back and at the side of the belt on the left, I'm going to draw a rectangular shape right there. Now for his leg, I'm going to draw a curve line below the short on the left here, downwards. Diagonal turn inwards at this lower point and a curve line downwards to that point. For the inner line of the legs, a line down right there curve diagonal line below that outwards turn it back inwards towards his ankle point right there and flare it out below the ankle point semi circle turn at the heels and turn it to the left at the bottom from the front point I'm gonna draw a diagonal curve line right there a curve line across right there turn it sideways diagonally and turn it downwards and I'm going to copy the same line across at this lower point and sideways at this corner right here now for his toe I'm going to draw a line across semi circle turn downwards and turn it back to the right at this lower point right there copy the same shape of the toes on the left side right there Below that, I'm going to draw a curve line downwards, turn it to the right with the curve line, turn it upwards on the right side right there and curve line to the left at this top point. Now for his right leg, I'm going to draw a curve line downwards. diagonal line slightly outwards below that and turn it back inwards towards his ankle point and below the ankle point I'm gonna flare it out again and on the outer line of the leg I'm gonna draw a similar shape at this outer point right here and at this point I'm gonna draw a strap across and a rectangular shape on the right corner right there and another curve line across for the lower part of the strap and another similar shape at this lower point right here continue the line of the legs along the side right here and I'm gonna flare it out slightly at the outer point right there 
Now at the side of the strap, I'm gonna draw a rectangular shape right there. And from the upper point, I'm gonna draw another rectangular shape at that corner. Now for his flip-flops, I'm gonna take this point on the left and draw a curve line upwards, sideways, and turn it diagonally to the middle point downwards. And we're gonna do the and on the right side, I'm gonna draw a curve line across, turn it down on the side. And I'm gonna copy the whole shape at this lower point. And for the toe, I'm gonna draw a circular shape at this point. And I'm gonna do the same thing for the other toes, but smaller in size. And in the middle point here, I'm gonna draw two lines downwards. And for the base of the flip-flops, I'm gonna draw a curved line across. Turn it down at the side and a curved line at the base across. For the tattoos on his body, it's impossible for me to explain how to draw them. So I sped up the process and on the right side of the screen is the picture that I refer to for the tattoos. And that's all for our tutorial today. I hope you enjoy it and find my lessons helpful. Be sure to like and subscribe to this channel. Also, feel free to drop your requests, suggestions, or any other comments in the comment section below. See you next time.